is a model of what will be Disney Springs. And you're probably wondering why we ran out of paint. Uh, we don't actually intend to have the whole thing be uh, blonde. Um, but we like to build these models to give uh, people ourselves, frankly, and certainly the, uh, the folks that, that we might come in and, and the tenants that we might uh, talk to, uh, retailers, uh, restaurateurs, just a sense of what this place would be like. But, you know, we're Disney, so we like to put a little pixie dust in everything we do. And so um, we've devised a way to sort of bring Disney Springs to life a little bit more. And maybe, Kathy, you can do the honors. There we go. <laughs> so as you can see, this is going to be a, a special and, and vibrant place. We've actually we, we focused our lighting here on the, 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 where the bulk of the development, the new development, would be for Disney Springs. But of course, the, the place, um, it's, it's, the whole place will encompass this transformation. And, and Kathy's going to talk a little bit more uh, about that in just a second. But um, this technique, by the way, is something that, that actually was developed by our research and development group at Imagineering. So we're using a digital projection uh, to bring this place to life uh, in a way that uh, goes beyond a, a normal model and gives really people a, a sense of the place. But maybe, Kathy, can you just give us a little tour of Disney yeah, Springs? Sure. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but when we transformed this model, the first thing that we saw come to life on the model was the springs itself. So the heart of Disney Springs, of this whole development, is an area that we're calling the springs. And the springs is a bubbling water um, fountain. It'll, it, it's sort of a, a natural space where we're really taking advantage of the water in general at Disney Springs, a lot more than we do now with Pleasure Island or Downtown Disney. And so th this is, we th really think of as the heart of the development, and this is where the development grew from. These buildings are lower leveled, one single storied. Um, they're just going to look a little bit older than the others. And if you turn around, it's a little awkward. We've got some a guest point of view of what the Springs area will look like. And really, Disney Springs is made up of, of um, four different neighborhoods. Um, the first one that we'll talk about is Town Center. Town Center is where most of the retail will take place. Again, we've got another image on the wall behind you. And this is um, more of a, a Spanish revival um, architecture, just to pull it apart from the other pieces. Up on the water itself is the landing area. And this is where we'll have world-class dining really taking advantage of the view of the waterfront. You'll be dining out on the waterfront in these wonderful buildings. And all of these buildings, even though we've got different architecture and different architectural periods, are really meant to be warm and nostalgic and, and just immerse you into the storytelling of this entire space. Um, our next neighborhood is the marketplace. This will continue to be our family-friendly retail and dining location that you're, I think, pretty familiar with. The one big change here is that it will be connected to the rest of the development with a causeway. That will help with guest flow, but again, it puts you out on the water and you'll be able to really have just this beautiful, wonderful surroundings. And of course, there's the west side. And the west side, Disney's west side, is, <clears throat> excuse me, industrial buildings with elevated um, train trestle that you'll be able to sit on top for a lounge area. It'll be um, um, shade during the day. And it's really a big celebratory sort of exuberant spot. And so these four neighborhoods really make up the entire Disney Springs um, development. So we, sometimes we get asked why we spend so much time on the storytelling, <laughs> um, even in a place that isn't a, isn't a theme park. And as, as Kathy just described, what it allows us to do, first of all, it guides our development mm -hmm. and keeps us sense, uh, rooted in a sense of place. But also, uh, it, it's even if you're not explicitly telling the story, it, it comes across to our guests. And so that sense of welcome, that sense of embrace, especially with this great center around the springs, it, is mm -hmm. going to be instinctive and natural to our guests. And, and so we want this to be a, a retail dining entertainment place and experience unlike any other. And I think that uh, it's really going to be special. Now, a big part of downtown Disney has always been um, the evening, entertainment, dining, et cetera. And so since we've got this fun tool, I thought we'd give you a little sense of uh, what Disney Springs would be at, light, er, at night. And so you can see we're setting the sun right now. <laughs> so what's great about Disney Springs is it will have a different personality at night from daytime. 
You can tell it's night because there's crickets. <laughs> <laughs> so the, um, you know, this transformation uh, is going to take place in the next several years. We, we will complete the transformation to Disney Springs in 2016, but we'll open it in phases. We'll remain open throughout, um, and we'll, we'll phase our development to make sure that we continue to embrace our guests throughout that uh, development period. And I, and I want to pay tribute, frankly, to the people who have been doing so. Our, our guest ratings at Downtown Disney, even with uh, having um, taken down much of what was on the old Pleasure Island, have continued to be great. And, and they've just done a fantastic job of doing that. We'll continue to do that. And then when the transformation takes place, I hope that we can host all of you uh, at Disney Springs again. Just a couple other quick stats. Uh, the transformation Disney Springs is obviously a substantial investment. We're gonna t not going to talk about the numbers, but it'll create 4,000 new jobs when it's completed. During construction, there's about 1,200 construction jobs um, here in Central Florida. So um, we're happy about what that does for the community as well, and certainly for what it does for all of our guests, whether they're uh, tourists or uh, locals. And so it's something we can't wait to host you at in person, but in the meantime, uh, I hope this gives you a, a sense of, of what we're going to do and why we're so excited about where Disney Springs is going to go. So thank you all very much uh, for taking the time. And so if you're writing that down, let, just note that there was thunderous applause. <laughs> okay? yeah. All right.